uh, is learning to code hard? Uh, do I need to have an understanding of complex math or logic skills? I love this question. The reason why I love answering this question is because you're right. Co is learning the code hard? Yes, it's very hard. Um, but it's easier you know, at the start of the week. It's not easy uh, to come here and learn. You just don't sit down in the classroom and you know, kind of get plugged in like the matrix uh, and learn everything you need to learn uh, in a millisecond. Um, but it is easier to learn in person, but it takes a lot of hard work. It takes, uh, takes uh, persistence, and it takes having a passion about what you want to get out of it. When people talk about, you know, you should learn the code, you should learn the code, you should learn the code, you probably hear it all the time. But if you don't have a reason that you're learning the code um, outside of like, you know, trying to make lots of money, like that's not, you know, a very long term kind of uh, passion uh, to learn how to code. It's going to get hard and you're going to have an easier option to quit rather than move forward. But when you have a idea or a problem that you're passionate about solving, that's one of the main like reasons that we kept going. There's tons of times when I tried to learn, and it was extremely difficult. But I thought about if I stop, if I quit, then I will not be able to make this school real, or I would not be able to make this idea real, and we won't be able to impact you know hundreds, if not thousands, of people. Um, so that was kind of my kind of guiding light to continue doing it. Um, in terms of the second question, you know, do you need to have an understanding of you know complex math and logic skills? The answer is no. So I thought that for a long time. I you know procrastinated on learning how to code for years because I thought I wasn't smart enough to actually learn this. You know, I was like, I'm not a computer science major. I'm not going to be able uh, to grasp all these difficult concepts. Um, but when I actually started learning, you know, I realized that like, wow, this is actually easier than I thought. It wasn't easy. Um, you know, I continue to say it's, it's definitely not easy, but it's a lot easier than you, you think it is. Um, and once you get into it, once you get that taste of like building something, even if it's the smallest website, the smallest web page, um, you'll, you'll be, you know, shocked and energized, um, to continue to learn more. Um, so you definitely don't need to be a PhD or a master, you know, physicist or a rocket scientist, uh, to learn how to code. Um, you can, you know, we've had people who, you know, didn't graduate high school, people who didn't graduate college, uh, people who haven't been in the classroom in 25, 30 years. And, you know, after a few months, they have a web app that they can show their friends and family members that they built. Um, so it's definitely possible no matter what the educational background is.